Formula One power units are the most efficient internal combustion engines ever built. And at over 50% thermal efficiency, Formula One engines use the science of tribology to extract every ounce of power from the engine. And when it comes to the motor oil itself, we're not talking just about friction, we're also talking about combustion. That's right, Formula One engines use oil as fuel. Now to be fair, the amount of oil being burned as fuel today is minuscule compared to what it was several years ago. Since the 2014 season, Formula One has used what's called the power unit, a 1.6 liter V6 that is turbocharged and hybridized. Of course, one of the coolest things about the engine is that even the turbocharger itself is hybridized. One of the things that came about during this era with this engine was the burning of oil as fuel. And the reason for that is that these current engines have a fuel flow limit. And within that, fuel flow is limited to 100 kilograms per hour. And this is where the idea of using oil as fuel was born. Because when you're limited to a certain amount of fuel flow, that limits the amount of power you can make. You have to have air and fuel to make power. But if I can add more fuel and get around the fuel flow sensor by burning oil, I can make more power. And this was successfully done between 2014, 2020. I really wish I could tell you everything I know about this. However, I have secrecy agreements with some of our clients and people I've worked with in the past, but I can share this story that actually changed how I formulate motor oils. Several years ago, at the very beginning of this turbo hybrid era, I met a gentleman named Bruce Crawley who worked for ExxonMobil and was in charge of their Formula One fuels and oil development program. We had a wonderful dinner one night at the World Motorsport Symposium and he shared a thought with me and that same lesson still holds true today. Sometimes the answer is an additive. Other times the answer is base oil. Mm -hmm. 